Hello and welcome to this episode of The Defenders on Sunset TV, in which we will bring to you the achievements of India's defense and scientific sector, as well as the Indian Navy, in the manufacture of a guided missile stealth naval destroyer. This is the majestic INS Vishakhapatnam, the lead ship of the P-15B class guided missile stealth destroyers of the Indian Navy. Captain on board. We'll spend next few days on this most potent warship of the Indian Navy, which is made in India and take you on a grand tour of its capabilities and features and also meet the brave crew members. I'm Vishal Dahiya and you're watching Sunset Television. INS Vishakhapatnam measures 163 meters in length and 17 meters in breadth with a displacement of 7,400 tons. Commissioned on 21st of November 2021, the delivery of this warship affirms the impetus given by government and Indian Navy towards self-reliance in defense production. INS Vishakhapatnam not only signifies a quantum leap in technology and capabilities, but is also a landmark in the Indian Navy's quest for self-reliance. While there will be three more ships under Project 15B of the Vishakhapatnam class, several more new generation warships and platforms are being planned in the coming years. The Vishakhapatnam class ships are a follow-on of the Kolkata class destroyers which were commissioned in the last decade. Designed by Directorate of Naval Design and built by Majgao Dock Shipbuilders Limited Mumbai, the four Vishakhapatnam class ships are named after major cities of the country namely Vishakhapatnam, Marmugao, Imphal and Surat. You know the Project 15 class of destroyers are all named after major Indian cities. To give a few examples, we have the Indian naval ships Delhi, Mysore, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Kochi. So we are the first ship to be named after uh, Vishakhapatnam, the city. And it's uh, you know, quite apt because uh, Vishakhapatnam is not just a very vibrant, you know, cosmopolitan coastal city of Andhra Pradesh. Uh, but uh, Vishakhapatnam is also home to the Eastern Naval Command. Her crew abides by the motto Yasho Labhashwa, a Sanskrit phrase that translates to attain glory. It symbolizes an indomitable spirit to pursue excellence and success in every endeavor. These are the same words which Lord Krishna used during the Great War of Mahabharata to awaken and to make Arjuna realize his duty as a warrior. The ship's English motto is a beautiful amalgamation of the Sanskrit motto which means attain glory. The logo of the ship depicts the burst of a black buck. The stout horns, remarkable alertness and swiftness of the black buck closely resonate with the intent, capabilities and essence of this powerful destroyer and her stalwart crew. The ship's crest depict a black buck leaping in the air with the dolphin lighthouse in the background. The black buck is the state animal of Andhra Pradesh. The dolphin lighthouse was built in 1960s on top of Dolphin Hill. It is a reincarnation of 18th century old lighthouse. Presently, it is a prominent nautical mark and is also a witness to sinking of PNS Ghazi, which was a decisive event during the 1971 Indo-Pak War. This ship is capable of undertaking various tasks and missions spanning the entire spectrum of maritime warfare. Our state-of-the-art weapon systems, 
enhanced stealth features, sustained endurance at sea, and advanced network sentry capabilities makes her a potent command platform. INS Vishakhapatnam has enhanced stealth features resulting in a reduced radar cross-section achieved through efficient shaping of hull, full beam superstructure design, plated masts and use of radar transparent materials on exposed decks. This ship can fight in all three dimensions, in the air, on the surface and below the surface. And we have a plethora of guns, missiles, weapon systems, missiles, torpedoes, radar sensors, you name it. Our primary weapon in the surface domain is the BrahMos uh, surface to surface missile, uh, supersonic missile. And using this missile, we can take on take out you know targets on the surface, other ships, and also uh, on the shore. Our main weapon uh, in the air domain, uh, which can take out weapons uh, in terms of uh, aircraft as also missiles, is the Barak medium range surface to air missile. Against subsurface contacts, uh, target subsurface targets, which are basically submarines. You know, we have torpedoes and rockets. We have guns. In fact, nine remotely controlled fitted guns, including the one that you see behind me, which is the 76.2 mm Otto Miller uh, super rapid gun mount. Armed with advanced surface-to-surface -surface supersonic missiles, surface-to-air missiles, medium and close-range guns, heavyweight torpedoes, anti-submarine rockets, and advanced electronic warfare and communication suite, this ship is well equipped and packs a formidable punch for multi-dimensional warfare. She also boasts of a very high level of automation with sophisticated digital networks, combat management system and integrated platform management system. We have a MR gun, 76 MR gun. Uh, we have AK-630 uh, PR guns uh, which can engage any approaching air or surface target uh, towards the ship. We have force protection guns to utilize any uh, asymmetric surface or aerial threat. INS Vishakhapatnam has a state-of-the-art underwater weapons and sensors which are indigenously built. We have state-of-the-art sonar, plus we have two-in-number rocket launcher, plus four-in-number torpedo tubes which fires lethal heavyweight torpedoes. Any threat which is underwater, or we call it subsurface threat, it can tackle uh, in a way no other warship can do that. The ship is propelled by a powerful combined gas and gas propulsion which enables a speed of over 30 knots. A few new equipment have also been added, uh, learning the lessons from the past ships. So definitely this ship is more reliable, more potent and more sustainable. I head the engineering department and the department's role uh, is always there on the ship 24 by 7. Whether we are in harbour or we are at sea, uh, we have to keep the ship stable, we have to keep the ship moving, we have to keep the ship habitable and we have to keep it ready for any mission, any time. For power generation on board this ship, we have four gas turbine generators and uh, one diesel alternator, capable of uh, generating over 4.6 megawatt uh, of power, which is sufficient to power up about 7,000 households on a daily basis. The power generation and distribution section on board this ship uh, comprises of total of 24 sailors who work round the clock to ensure that there is flawless distribution of power to all the weapon sensors and equipment which are installed on board this ship. At harbour, our weapons and sensors are not deployed. While at sea, our weapons and sensors are deployed and accordingly we have to maintain the uh, quality of power. The helicopters operating from the deck can augment in the capability of ship in undertaking operations, anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare and the ship can operate at a time three helicopters, two inside the hangars and one on deck and the ship can operate seeking ALH, Kamo and Chetak helicopters. Permission to land hello on deck. The various challenges which are which we face on board are the ship can be irrespective of the conditions, it can be variable sea, variable wind and roll and pitch. But irrespective of the conditions, we have to ensure the safety and we have to perform the task so that we can uh, perform the task safely for ship as well as for hello.
INS Vishakapatnam has been constructed using indigenous steel DMR 249A and is amongst the best destroyers constructed in India. It reaffirms India's presence amongst an elite group of nations with the capability to design and build advanced warships. The four Vishakapatnam class destroyers are indigenously designed by the Indian Navy's in-house organization, Directorate of Naval Design and constructed by the Majgaon Dock Limited in Mumbai. The keel of the project was laid in 2013 when MDL started fashioning 2,800 tons of Indian-made warship steel into the warship's hull. She was launched in April 2015 at MDL. INS Vishakhapatnam was then delivered to the Indian Navy on 28th October 2021 and commissioned on 21st November the same year. With the changing power dynamics in the Indian Ocean region, INS Vishakhapatnam will augment the Indian Navy's mobility, reach and flexibility towards accomplishment of its role and tasks. We have bitten the bullet much earlier and the results are there for, you know, are, are, are there to see as we move from strength to, uh, to strength. The Project 15 Bravo class of ships, which I mentioned to you earlier, you know, uh, has definitely evolved a lot as compared to the previous ships in terms of the, of the indigenous content of these ships. Many of our weapons and sensors and other systems, control systems and so on, you know, are uh, made in India. And the stakeholders uh, in terms of the indigenization are not just the government entities such as the PSUs, you know, Bharat Electronics Limited is one example, uh, but also the private stakeholders. LNT is one example. So I would say that you know these ships uh, truly encapsulate the spirit of uh, Atmanirbhar Bharat that the government has been encouraging. Apart from several indigenous equipments in the float and move categories, this stealth destroyer is also installed with many major indigenous weapons such as medium-range surface-to-air missile systems by BEL, surface-to-surface missiles by Brahmos Aerospace, torpedo tubes and launchers by LNT and gun mount by BHEL. Other major equipment and systems which contribute towards 75% of the indigenous content on board INS Vishakhapatnam include combat management system, integrated platform management system, automated power management system, foldable hangar doors, halo traversing system, close-in weapon system and bow-mounted sonar. INS Vishakhapatnam is fully equipped to augment Indian Navy's mobility, reach and flexibility towards accomplishment of its tasks and goals. The brave crew members on board the destroyer are well trained to tackle any eventuality such as incidents of fire on board the ship. This is a 24-7 job, training a person to keep them motivated to ensure that, to, to, to ensure that they do their jobs properly. And that has been a, uh, that's a real challenge and also a very exciting thing to, you know, so that they, uh, they perform their uh, duty the best. The crew also has elaborate plans to counter nuclear, chemical and biological threats and ensure smooth functioning of all operations on board during such circumstances. A team of divers undertakes regular checks to ensure smooth working of various systems and equipments as well. I'm a ship's diving officer and we generally carry out diving on board ships uh, post sailing. We carry out the post sailing checks where we check the rudder, propeller and the shaft line. And we check the sonar dome if uh, there hasn't been any damages due to the sailing or the high rough weather. Aparichit Choti Noka, Aap Antarashtriya Jal Kshetra Me, Ek Bhartiya Nausena Yudh Bodh Ki Aur Bad Rahe Hai. Apni Pahchan Batae Aur Apne Aane Ka Udesh Batae. A quick response team comprised of well equipped and trained sailors is always ready to repel any external threat to the ship. Vishakhapatnam is a floating city with all kind of amenities for a crew complement of approximately 300 sailors and officers with a focus on enhancement of crew comfort. That includes 
ergonomically designed accommodations based on modular concepts. For the comfort and convenience of the sailors on board, INS Vishakhapatnam boasts of a 24-hour laundry service, tailoring facility, barber shop and an ATM for banking operations. Our living space, which is a home away from home, this is a place where we live and where we work from. Hands to dinner. तीन सौ सेलर हैं जिसमें हम तीस किलो आटे का रोटी बनाते हैं कम से कम बारह सौ और तेरह सौ के बीच में पूरे दिन में और सब्जी वगैरह जो है अठारह किलो सब्जी और पंद्रह किलो आलू और बारह किलो प्याज एवरी डे पर डे यूज होता है छः सौ अंडा पर डे और छः ट्वेंटी सिक्स के जी चिकन और ट्वेंटी के जी मटन मीनू हमारे लोगो साहब हैं वो डिसाइड करते हैं हम यहाँ से मीनू बना के लेके जाते हैं वी आर लुकिंग एट अ ग्रॉस स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ अबाउट थ्री फिफ्टी टू फोर हंड्रेड पर्सनल एम्बार्क एंड दी प्रेपरेशन टाइम वेरीज फ्राम ऑपरेशन टू ऑपरेशन बट बाई एंड लार्ज वी प्रिपेयर फॉर अबाउट फोर्टी फाइव डेज एंड वी आर लुकिंग एट क्लोज टू फोर्टी टर्न ऑफ राशन एंड प्रोविजन एंड दैट इज वॉट अकाउंट्स फॉर सस्टेनिंग दिस लेवल ऑफ मैन पावर मोस्टली इट इज गॉट टू डू विद मोराल इट्स ओनली वेन यू हैव गुड फूड It's only then that you have uh, the navy working at its best. So we have lot of world class medical equipment on board the ship, including minor OT, isolation ward, burn ward, crisis expansion ward, and uh, latest life uh, basic life support on board ship. So we have telemedicine consultation. Through this, we can contact with the specialist. in the land virtually we can contact with the specialist we can tell any emergencies we can communicate with the specialist at the land to keep the men motivated and uh, also uh, not miss uh, the life at land much uh, all kind of amenities are provided on board you have a fully functional gym in fact you must have gone around the ship and you have uh, gym equipment spread throughout the ship uh, because a mentally uh, uh, fit person has to keep physically fit uh, that that's what the forces uh, dwell upon and uh, live upon and uh, that is ensured across the ship The combination of national flag and naval ensign is called colors on board a ship. As a mark of respect towards naval ensign and national flag, colors are hoisted every day on board a ship at 0800 hours and lowered at the time of sunset over a formal ceremony. So this uh, uh, ceremony which you just witnessed uh, also called the requestment uh, is basically a manifestation of uh, the divisional system and also the ultimate authority on board a ship which is the command of the captain of the ship uh, it's it's a way in which the service acknowledges uh, the hard work the professionalism the potential and the good conduct of a sailor uh, till such time that he comes for this uh, ceremony there there are a lot of criteria which a sailor has to meet Uh, before he comes in front of the captain for a particular award or reward the divisional system has the backing of the sailor in making him accomplish all these criteria so that in time he he gets his uh, 
promotion or a good conduct batch, whatever is due to him. Uh, for a sailor, it's a sense of uh, pride, uh, accomplishment, uh, and a source of motivation, which uh, kind of continues to motivate him to excel and continue excelling in service. Equipment complete, sir. I feel a special bonding with this ship. Uh, the ship feels like home and the crew is my family. I am a proud of being a naval officer. Uh, being involved from uh, forecastle till stern to keep the ship floating, fighting and moving gives a immense sense of uh, responsibility and that is in itself a very satisfying experience at the end of it. Thank you so much for your time. Life at sea is all about fleeting opportunities. Uh, every day is a new experience and uh, lull and the dynamism that the service has, uh, things go uh, from lull to active in no time. In 1997, I was on INS Ganga, you know, which is uh, one of the first few ships built by Mazaka Dock Limited, the same yard which has made this ship. And over 23, 24 years, it's very evident to me the kind of the sea change you know that has been brought about in terms of our ability to design good warships and in terms of the ability of our yards to execute uh, the ship construction. Judging by the way the Navy has evolved over these over these years, I think the future looks good. So not just in terms of stealth, which is one of the factors you know, which go into a new generation ship, but also in terms of various other things. Weapon sensors, the interior interiors of the ship, you know, habitability and so many other things. I think we have something great to look forward to. Okay. Okay. And the youth that you spoke about earlier, you know, the ones who join now, they will see a very different Navy in the future, just as I have from the time I joined.